What's up YouTube? Check it out. I got this 50 inch LG TV. Uh, found it on the curb and it was in a box, a new TV box, but not for this TV. Uh, there's a reason this thing was on the curb because um, it doesn't work, evidently. Well, you can see it's plugged in because the red LED is lit at the bottom. I don't have a remote for it because obviously it was on the curb and apparently they kept it. But I go around here to the back, hit the button, and watch. See? LED flashes a little bit, there's a flash of light on the screen, and then nothing. According to the light, I guess it's on, or it thinks it's on, but it's not. There's still no picture. so. Hit the button again, turn it off, slight flash of light, and the red LED is back on, which means it's off. We're going to see if we can troubleshoot this sucker and get it to work. I'm going to start taking the screws out. Probably start with the ones around the edge and then work my way in. Thank goodness for screw guns because there's quite a few of them. So I'll keep doing this until my screw gun either dies or, you know, my hand gets tired. It's going to take forever. I should fast forward this and go. Well, I went ahead and removed all the screws around the edge. I did the four mounting brackets for the stand. Wish me luck. Feels like it's coming apart. Uh, let's see. Alright, looks like the screw by the uh, RCAs needs to come off. And probably these three, the one by the power plug, and then the two underneath the bracket. Not only do you have to take all, all the big screws, but there is one, two, three, four, five, six little baby screws that you have to take out also. Yeah, I completely forgot the one way down in there. Oh, by the way, this is a 50LN5100LG, 5100, 5100 model. So I was looking around at a couple other videos. Let's see, you have a power board. I think there's like a motherboard, something like that. There's this board. Uh, I'm gonna go through and start just kind of looking for obvious defects and see if I can find anything that looks burnt, melted, whatever the case may be. And if I don't find that, then I'm gonna start going into further troubleshooting. I uh, started going through on the power supply board. It uh, checked some of the diodes and things like that. It really wasn't getting anywhere. The diodes seemed to be fine. Um, you can tell which ones are the diodes because they have a little D in front of the part number. I don't know if you can see that, but the little part numbers on each one have a D in front of them that stands for diode. Some of them are ZD. Those are Zener diodes. Uh, anyway, went ahead and plugged it back in just to see if I could see what was going on with it. I turned it on and like I did before and it didn't have any picture but I started hitting the uh, input button and I found out that I actually have sound with it. I'll show you. You see the lights flash through all, all the little holes. Let's see. So that is sound. So it's just my picture that's not working but my sound is. Turn it back off, but there's little holes all over the back, so you'll see that flash. Um, so that little flash that I initially get, you can see it. So I'm going to go in from there and uh, start looking into possibly LED situation. All right, well, I went ahead and took all the pieces off the TV, took the frame off, the screen, 
Took all the brackets off, the screws out, it took the actual screen off itself, that's it. And got down to the LEDs. And if you can tell, <laughs> there's a little problem. I could hear something rattling around when I stood it up. And sure enough, that little cap is going off there. And that sucker is burnt. I'm going to pop out the little holders that really hold the screen up itself. And then I'm going to take this cover off. See what it looks like underneath there. But the track is just cooked. I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the board off this side and then pull this strip out right here and hopefully I can just replace that one strip it is a R1 as you can see they're labeled R1, R2, R1, R2 and so on and so forth so it'll be an R1 strip I'm going to shop around tomorrow or actually probably later tonight see what I can find and see if I can pick one up so now I'm going to go ahead and take these screws out they're very tiny little cross point screws Forget to unclip your little plug right there. Once you unclip everything and take the screws out, it simply just slides out, and it's a bunch of just little uh, prongs that basically slide in the end. So it'll slide out just in that manner. Now, apparently, this has just some sticky tape underneath it. Yeah, there we go. And it should pry up fairly easy. I'm just doing that one. I'm going to go ahead and wiggle that out of there, slide it apart. Well, I went ahead, looked up the part that I needed for this strip. I went to All Star TV Repair Store. They have a website on eBay, and I'll put a link to that down in the description. And I was able to pick up the LED strip that I needed, and I even got a remote because I didn't have a remote for this TV. This is kind of gross. Looks like somebody ate their lunch on it. But I got all that for under $25. So pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I think I'm going to eat some lunch. And then I'm going to throw my parts in and see if this bad boy works. They were nice enough to put on a new piece of two-sided tape for me. Come off of there. There we go. So I'll go ahead and install the new LED strip one-handed there's that end and then just kind of lay it down in between the guides there we go now we'll go ahead and install that strip put the screws back in and then button this up Let's see if uh, our LEDs work now. This might be bright. Oh yeah. Two, three. Okay, it looks like I got like three of them burned out. But I did save the old strip. I did save the old strip, which it looks like some of the LEDs are still good on it. I'll go ahead and fix those and get it put back together. I put the white background on here. Uh, don't forget to put in your little posts. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. That holds your screen up off of there. Now as far as the burn marks, hopefully I thought about going through and just kind of cleaning. Actually it looks like it'll clean up a little bit. So let me see if I can clean that up a bit. I don't think that'll affect the picture at all, but I, you know, I'd rather do it now as opposed to having to go back and do it later. I already got the screen light in there. Before I hook up the little connectors on the bottom on the ribbon connectors I'm gonna go ahead and put the frame around it but I did set the little boards down inside the front lip I untaped them and set them in there um, so then I can put the frame around the screen itself and then I can flip it over and install all the little clips and lights and everything got the screen light in there Next step is to put on the metal brackets almost forgot to do that I will put the frame on before I flip this sucker over I got the front of the TV all put back together. I plugged in my LED and now I'm going through and plugging in my little ribbon connector tapes. Flip the little black piece down 
and this is kind of a fidgety little bit. It's not exactly the easiest thing to do in the world, especially trying to do it one-handed. These pop in here, they kind of press down a little bit, and then basically all you do is just flip the little tab back up. Hopefully, eh, it looks like they got that one a little crooked. I'll have to straighten that one back out. Getting the back panel put on, put, getting that buttoned up. I am uh, going to go ahead and put the stand on there for now because uh, I'll just be standing up. I might eventually replace my other TV with the mount. And at that time, then I'll go ahead and put the bracket on there. But, okay, here we go. Time to stand her up and see if it works. Here goes nothing. Should I try the new remote? You know what? Why not? Oh, it's flashing. It's doing something. Here we go. Look at that. We got a screen. Now. I'm going to turn this backlight down to prevent one of those bulbs from burning out again or the LEDs. Okay, I'm going to admit I was lazy and I didn't replace those three burned out LEDs. I really wanted to see what it looked like and to see if you could actually tell. And yeah, there is three dark spots on it that that's picking up. No big deal. I mean, I can replace them later. It's not that hard to take it apart and put it back together. I just have to be very careful. But it is working, so I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to use that for a little while and see... Uh, See how it looks. Heck, maybe when I put a, an actual picture or show on there, I probably won't even notice the black dots. That's it. I'm going to stop it there. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And uh, like I said, I'll leave a link to uh, the companies I went through in the bottom. Well, there we go. It works. No black dots. Looks pretty good. I'm not complaining. 21 bucks got me a good 50 inch LG LED TV. Yep, win.